All right, so this is uh, slide two, uh, day 10. So I wanna look at this example as well. We'll make sure that we can start from this bond line representation and draw the proper chairs. And then we wanna use a model to verify that those chairs are correct and what that actually looks like three dimensionally and look at the stability of these two possible structures. So my original structure, I've got cyclohexane. So I make a six membered ring I want to stick an ethyl group on there and a methyl group, and I want them to be pointing away from me, right? Because they have the dashed wedges rather than the solid wedges there. So we will uh, uh, make that uh, model and see what that looks like. Okay, so here's my six membered ring. I'm going to be looking at this from your perspective. So, from your perspective, that ethyl group and the methyl group are pointing away from you. <clears throat> so, I had the ethyl group. On the top carbon, so I'm going to install that here, right? Ethyl groups two carbons. I'm just going to connect that there, right? It's pointing away from you, right? The carbon that's on is here. On that carbon, this hydrogen's pointing out at you, and the methyl or the ethyl group's pointing away, away from you. And then two carbons away was the methyl group. It was also pointing away, so we'll install that there. Oops, I actually put that on the wrong carbon. So once I have my model, I can line it up next to the computer uh, uh, or paper drawn version of that so I can see my ethyl group and methyl group are in the right position spatially pointing away from you. <clears throat> and now I wanna make my molecule into a chair. So I got the flat structure first. I take every other hydrogen on top, every other hydrogen on the bottom, pull them together and now I've got my chair. And what do I notice? Just like the last example, the ethyl group and the methyl group are in equatorial positions. I have to think of the ring um, as being uh, <clears throat> relatively flat. The groups are coming straight up and straight down are all hydrogens. I've got hydrogens pointing up and down off the ring. The ethyl group and the methyl group, they're kind of pointing out from the ring into space, avoiding a lot of repulsion. So notice though, this ethyl group is pretty big. As it rotates around, it does get pretty close to some of these other atoms. So its rotation might be somewhat limited by some of that repulsion, some of that steric hindrance there. And so most of the time it'll be in a position, it'll be vibrating and stuff, but it'll be in a position out here away from the rest of the ring. That makes it pretty stable. The more sterically bulky the group is, the less likely it's going to be to rotate into an axial position where it creates a lot more repulsion. So let's take a look at what that would look like. Again, if I want to do the uh, chair flip, um, <clears throat> I would start by putting the four metal carbons in the same plane. Got this carbon at the head of the chair, this carbon down over here at the bottom. So I'm going to push the head down. That makes a temporary boat. And I'm going to push the feet up. And so now the three groups pointing straight up are the ethyl, methyl, and hydrogen. And on the other side of the ring, I've got three groups pointing straight down, which are hydrogen. So here on this side of the ring, there's really not much repulsion. These hydrogens are very small. They're electron clouds, and these axial positions don't crowd too much. But on this side of the ring, as soon as I flipped it into this position, I can see this thing can't rotate around. All this crowding is causing a ton of repulsion. So anytime I have bulky groups coming straight up or straight down from the ring, they're going to be really crowding out with the other bulky groups on the same side uh, of that ring. I really want my bulky groups to be in the equatorial positions to be much more stable. So this is very unstable, but it matches what we see in the drawing. Right, so when we worked through this chair, we found there was one confirmation where both groups were on the same side of the ring in axial positions, crowding one another. That's when we just looked at. Prior to that, we saw them both in equatorial positions, and that was way more stable, especially for the ethyl group pointing out from the ring instead of pointing straight up or straight down.